Hey you guys, just dropping by to tell you some great news. Um, I have been healing from my fibroid tumors. Um, I had a really rough time with fibroids. Any female out there knows that um, fibroids are not fun. Um, in the beginning, well, I'll say years ago, hearing other people dealing with it, I was like, well, I don't need to know about anything to prevent it because I'm probably not going to have that issue or whatever. Um, and I always just kind of dismiss myself from that conversation. But I can say that stress um, causes dis-ease in the body and that's just a known fact stress causes dis-ease in the body and my body i was very stressed out i was going through a lot of things a lot of transitions trying to you know get to a different place in life and you know um eating the wrong things and you know just just not living my best life <laughs> And, um, and my cycles just became almost unbearable. You know, like I almost just wanted to just say bye y'all cause it was, it was rough. It was rough. It was messy. It was gross, all that. So anyway, um, it was painful. Uh, it made me feel things I never felt before in my life. Didn't realize that my body could do those things. And, um, so I'm here to share with you what I did. All right. Oh, okay. So this is not a paid advertisement or anything. This is something that, um, or someone I've been going to since I had my first child. So probably about 20 years ago is when, um, I met Dr. Johnson and, um, this is what, I use for the fibroids. I had no idea if it was going to work or not. This is something that my mom suggested. Because one thing I do know um, is that people were saying like wheatgrass was supposed to help it. And, you know, it helped a little. But this right here, it just went on and nipped it in the bud. So the first time I used this, and I'll show y'all what it looks like. This is a tea. The company is um, the company is called the Aloe Man, but you use a very little bit of this, you know, maybe about that much, and that's what it comes in. It's a powder, and it says to take it with warm water three times a day. Well. I did that for the first two months, and then as it started subsiding, then I went to like, you know, one cup a day. So, um, and Dr. Johnson, he has an office in Florida, and he has an office in Atlanta, which is still, you know, where I am. So, um, we also paired that with, he has a um, juice or a, a tea kind of sort of that's already pre-made it's called body healer and it's it really acts as a multivitamin it's all the vitamins and minerals that you'll need so you know i've been taking that but you know i was even slacking off with that because sometimes when you're just doing a whole bunch of stuff you're not really doing what you need to do for your body so um that's kind of where i was but my symptoms with fibroids were um, heavy, 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 heavy bleeding, um, cramping, cramping, cramping. And I'm going to say this before last year, I hardly felt the cramp when I came on my cycle. Um, my cycle was kind of irregular, but it wasn't a bad thing because it only lasted maybe four days and then it was over. Um, and it was just regular, you know, but the fibroids, when those came, and when I had, you know, those pains and everything, I mean, I knew something was different. It made me dizzy. It made me dizzy because I lost so much blood. 
Um, but my, my face was flush. My lips used to be kind of, you know, real pale, white looking. And um, I just really had no energy. And, and it even made like my legs tired and sore feeling, you know, where it was kind of difficult to especially walk up steps. So when I began to use um, Dr. Johnson's J232 is what you would ask for, J232 formula for fibroids, um, what I could tell in the beginning was that it um, slowed the blood, meaning that, you know, I wasn't bleeding as heavy the first month. Um, and I couldn't tell it right away. You know, you, we have to realize that if we've been dealing with something for a period of time, if you come across something like this, that's natural, I mean, it's going to take a minute to get in your system and work. So, um, I just say, at least give it your first two cycles so you can really, really see a difference. Um, but that second month, you know, it was less cramping, um, less bleeding. And, um, cause I was changing a pad every hour or every other hour. Um, and then by that third month, it almost got back to like almost normal, like a normal cycle. Um, and what that formula does is it helps to flush those toxins out of your body. And a lot of the trash that's in our bodies, it helps to flush um, that out. And then it also um, helps to rebuild the blood and it helps with inflammation. So I just say for me, that's what helped me. Like all of this, trying to change my eating, trying to, you know, do this, do that, do this, do that. Uh-uh. I didn't have time for that. And I was even contemplating surgery. Didn't go through with it because I said, let me try this first. And this it helped me to avoid surgery. I called him, you know, not many people have his personal phone number, but, you know, I did call him. I try not to call him. Try to just call the office. Um, he doesn't even accept a copay or anything like that, but there are several, uh, people in the office who can answer questions about this. And like I said, the company is called the Aloe Man. His name is Dr. Johnson and it, this is called Dr. Johnson's Specialty. So, um, all I can say is try it. Um, it, it helped me, it helped to heal my body. Um, and he has so many other testimonies about other different diseases in the body that he's helped um, people to heal naturally. So I just had to come by and tell you all that. I've heard of so many horror stories of women going through um, so much pain and discomfort, um, depression even, over having these fibroids. And I'm going to say this as well. A lot of times you'll have the fibroid surgery, you know, like um, where you're going to remove the fibroids. But then if you're still eating the same way and under the same amount of stress, slowly they come back. So I'd rather take drink some tea than go have another surgery. So um, this is just me being transparent, trying to put the information out there. Um, and hopefully it'll help someone. All right. Once again, this is T Page, also known as Mommypreneur. See you in the next video. Bye.